Hi there, it's Alan from Cool Toys again. So we've got the Pro 1 and the Pro 2 back on the makeshift bench and we've got the controller out the Pro 2. So this is the third part of our comparison video. This is the Pro 2 controller here and this is the early Pro 1 controller. So we can confirm that the housing, the lead, um, the form factor, the gasket, everything's exactly the same size wise. Um, just for your information, there's a if you ever buy Xiaomi parts, then they come in boxes like this with a part number. Um, and everyone I've seen have always been in a box like that. So, you know, if it comes like that, then it's definitely a genuine part. So, I've been having a look at this board. Like I said, they're pretty much exactly the same. Connectors. Physical size, etc. All the same. So, we have had a change of FETs again. If you watched my last video, um, we had NCE FETs on this, which were a bit rubbish, and Chinese. Um, 75 volts, 140 amps. Then we went on the later generations. This was a very early V1.4. Uh, on the V2.1, we went to ST Microelectronic, 100 volt, 110 amp. Fets, which are really, really good, and uh, that was a, a good improvement. So now on the Pro 2, we've changed to Magna Chip, which are Korean Fets, so better than Chinese, um, probably not quite as good as the microelectronic ones. So we're now at 80 volts and 120 amps, so we're, we're somewhere in between um, the early Pro and the late Pro. Um, so the other main thing we've got noticed is that this this bus track for the FETs was melting under load. The later Pro Pro One, um, they basically just put lots of solder on it to prevent it, and on the Pro Two, we've actually got a bit of bar soldered in there top and bottom so that's a good improvement so basically if you do buy a if you do need a controller then I'm pretty sure that a Pro 2 controller is going to fit in like I said physically it's going to fit heat sinks the same lids the same connectors are the same and we can see here that we have went to Scooter driver V3. So that is the board that is coming with the Xiaomi Pro 2. Um, just a wee bit of information on, on these boards. There's two FETs per phase. So that's a phase wire. Two FETs and a controller for each. So you can see here that this basically board is just, you know, three boards in one so two two and two for each phase and that's the phase wire pins and that's a little phase controller um, this big capacitor here is used really just to suck up the voltage spikes especially probably in the care system and uh, to stop that additional voltage getting back into the more delicate electronics we use similar stuff like that on drone speed controllers they all used to have electrolytic capacitors on every single uh, speed controller on this sort of earlier stuff but anyway that's uh, another story so I've also got battery here in bits um, that I've been having a look at for you guys to see so I've taken it out the tin and I'm looking at the battery management module so you can see that there I'm going to take that um, further the bits maybe in another video um, so that's it for now I'm going to make a new video soon on removing the tire and um, changing that properly 
um, and aligning the wheel and stuff back up as well. A lot of people have trouble getting these tires off um, and you know they are tricky, they are tight but if you've got the right tools and the right knowledge then it will help and it will make it easier. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to put these back together now and go scooting.